Opa, you had the Brandon, the Komen Tilmin Canal. It's been about two and a half months since I've gotten to Sweden and I haven't posted any videos, so let me give y'all some updates. I want to say thank you to everyone for waiting so patiently on me to put out my next video. I've been here in Sweden for about two and a half months and I started my Swedish courses to study the language about six weeks ago. So needless to say, I've been a bit overwhelmed trying to set up my new life here and so you haven't seen much from me. I've been having to do a lot of big things that I didn't really think about like buying this bike and getting my new apartment furnished without having a car. So I don't have a car, so I have to carry my things home. Bought a rug for the living room. <laughs> but overall, I'm enjoying my stay here in Sweden very much and adapting quite well. I live in Helsingborg and it's quite a neat town here. As you can see, we've got a beautiful castle in the middle of the town and the parks are quite nice. It's actually quite a hilly city on the seaside. So I get to enjoy a lot of nice views. I love the old cobblestone streets throughout the city. And then I take the train to go to Lund to study Swedish. So a lot of my time is spent traveling every day but I do enjoy the wonderful views and scenery throughout this part of Sweden, which is the Skåne region. And a lot of people joke with me and say, hey, you don't live in Sweden, you live in Denmark, because there is a lot of history here, a lot of Danish history that goes way back centuries. And they do even have a dialect here, which I'm having to learn as I learn the Swedish language. It's quite different from standard Swedish. As I mentioned earlier, in this part of Sweden, there's a lot of Danish history, and I'm really happy that I live so close to Denmark. I actually got to go a couple weeks ago to Denmark and traveled around. It's quite easy to get there from here. We've actually got a really good ferry system. I can take a ferry ride. It's about 25 minutes from the terminal here in Helsingborg to get to the terminal in Denmark. And then if you want to you can go from there into Copenhagen or any other parts of Denmark so that's really cool that I have that blessing of living this close to Denmark in fact you can even see Denmark from the ocean from where I'm at living in Sweden of course has not been without its challenges as I mentioned earlier I've had to do a lot of preparation moving from one continent to another continent on the other side of the world is quite a big task I knew that to start with, but it's hard to think of all the little tiny details that you're going to be up against. And you just have to take those things on as they come up. For example, recycling was quite a fascinating process for me to learn. Okay, it's all in Swedish. West of, uh... I guess I can look in here and see what other people threw in here. Oh, that's just like stuff that you don't know what to do with it. Okay. This is for glass for packing our wine bottles, oil, medicine. So this is like dark glass. Yeah. And this is light glass, cans, electronics, small electronics, my dad looks small, paper, cardboard, newspapers, well, funny thing is, it says newspapers, but there's a lot more than newspaper in there. Uh, hard plastic. All right. Well, oh, and there's more stuff here. Light bulbs, batteries. Very interesting. All right. Well, I'm gonna do this. I met the garbage men down there. They happen to be changing things out. So these are my 
containers and I, I got two more to take down there. But uh, the garbage man gave me these things. So apparently I did something wrong. You're supposed to put the food in the brown paper bag, not a plastic bag. I wasn't sure. So he's like, take a stack of these. <laughs> so yeah, note to self, I'll be putting that in here and my food, well, this one with the lid. And uh, yeah, he's like, don't worry about it. You'll get it, you'll figure it out. It's a little complicated, honestly, but it's all good. And I think it's wonderful that they're doing this for the planet and I'm eager to learn this and do it well. So yeah, so gotta go down, take the other half down and sort it out. Along with the challenges of adapting to a new life in a new country, come many great blessings. I have so many experiences that I'm going to carry with me with the rest of my life. I've made so many great friends here. Swedish people have a reputation by Americans and some people of other cultures that they're very reserved and quiet, but I've found them to be actually quite hospitable when I need help. I've made a lot of great friends here in Sweden. And I'm so grateful for that. I'll tell you a little bit about how my studies with the language are going. I've mentioned that I started studying Swedish about six weeks ago. I've already completed level one. There are eight levels that I have to complete to complete the entire program at Lund University. This semester consists of four levels and then the spring semester consists of four more levels. I have my examinations for level two coming up next week. I hope I do well. So far maintaining a B average. I had no knowledge of Swedish prior to this. So I'm quite amazed that in six weeks I can already speak quite a bit of Swedish. One of my struggles right now is dealing with what they call betoning, which is the up and down of your voice, the stressing of words. I haven't quite got that right and I'm really struggling with that. If y'all have any tricks or tips on how to know when and where to stress certain words and phrases, please let me know in the comments section. I'll take any help I can get. <laughs> I am trying to use Swedish as much as I can in everyday life. So I'm able to go to a coffee shop, order coffee and some food. Usually at restaurants I do okay. And I've had some interesting opportunities to speak Swedish with people that don't speak English. There are quite a lot of foreigners that live here from all around the world. And I've been able to communicate with some of them. Actually, I had the other day, I was walking home from the grocery store and a woman from another country who spoke no English needed help and she was lost. So I was able to communicate with my limited amount of Swedish and help her figure out how to get to where she was going. I actually enjoy the Swedish language. It's a very pretty language and it sounds like they're singing. I look forward to being able to speak it more fluently. And one of the nice things about learning a language is not only do you learn the language, you also learn the culture and you make deeper connections with people. I have a lot of Swedish friends here, and my hope is when I speak Swedish fluently that those connections will be even stronger. One of the funny things that I was told in class by someone from Romania that's studying along with me was that I have a unique accent when I try to speak Swedish. So for those of you that do not know, I do have some experience with studying Vietnamese in the past. I would not say my Vietnamese skill is what I'd like it to be. I'd say probably intermediate proficiency. And I do hope that one day in the future I can work better on my Vietnamese. But right now I'm having to put all my attention on studying Swedish. So I was told that when I speak Swedish and I do the betoning, I do the stress, that it has a bit of a Vietnamese accent to it. So I thought that was quite uh, hilarious. I actually enjoy a lot of the Swedish food here. They have a lot of seafood, which is quite nice because where I come from, it's more inland and it's difficult to get good seafood. 
So that's my updates for now. I would like to put out videos more frequently and I'm so sorry again that it's taken me so long to put out anything. However, editing these videos in this fashion where I have background video, it does take quite a bit of time. So what I'm thinking is if y'all feel it's okay, I can make shorter videos without all the background footage that are more educational and informational about me living here. So let me know how you feel about that. Thanks again for your time and watching my video. I appreciate your support. And I look forward to talking with you all again soon.